Hey, YouTube. Spirit smoker here. Smoking some Burke's Blend from a brick and mortar down in Hartford, Connecticut in my new owl pipe. Check out that beauty. Gorgeous plateau. Beautiful blue stained briar. Black stem. Steve did an amazing job on this one. He does an amazing job on all of them, really, but something about this one just kind of called to me. I needed to get it. Came with this awesome little tamper. No finish on it whatsoever, which I really like because it'll darken up over time. Some cool plateau in there. It looks like a badass claw. Very neat. And having a little Death Wish coffee this morning. I wanted to make a quick announcement that um, I've been getting a lot of comments on my page and I am super thrilled to, to receive them. For some reason or another, unfortunately, I have not been able to reply to them. Not through my fault. Um, I'm sure it partially is my fault because I can't figure it out. But I try to reply and I type up the whole message and I go to hit reply and it won't send anything. It won't publish any of it. Um, so I don't know what that is or why that's doing that, but I wanted to thank you, all of you, for um, for your participation and for your comments. Every time I get a comment, I get a you know I get a little giddy and I'm super excited to see them. I you know and I'm thrilled. I love having that kind of support. It's very meaningful to me, and uh, it makes. You know, I enjoy doing these videos anyway, but it makes it kind of, uh, it makes it just more fun to know that someone actually, you know, is watching and gives a shit. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, um, Real quick, I just wanted to tell you guys about, I, I went down to uh, Connecticut, um, to Hartford, for the Hartford Reading Society meeting again this month. I had a great time, that's where I saw Steve, and um, Steve and his wife were there, awesome people, great time. Uh, Jim, great guy, he and I had some good conversation, we all had some good conversation, it was just, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, you know, all the usuals were there, and even some new people. It was fantastic. Um, Grateful Piper couldn't make it again, unfortunately. I was hoping to see him. I uh, wasn't there. That's all right. Can't make them all right. I probably won't be making them anytime soon because of my new work schedule. I finally got scheduled for what my actual schedule is going to be, and it's going to be second shift. So that kind of takes out a lot of the social aspect of life, unfortunately. Well, hopefully we can uh, work something out where I get to take some of those days off so I can actually go down there and see those guys because it's, it's a blast. Got some Stonehaven from Steve fantastic blend. If you've never tried it, definitely give it a shot. Apparently it's the same makers as Penzance. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, great Virginia blend, I think. It's just uh, a really, really nice, mellow, but really flavorful and fantastic room note. Awesome stuff. For a, for a non-aromatic, it is just out of this world great. That's really good stuff. I was just thinking, I think what I wanted to talk about today with you guys was kind of the idea of, 
um, I suppose, I don't know what term to use for it. I suppose maybe self-reliance. Maybe, um, just, I guess, general responsibility. You know, general just being an adult that is a valuable part of society or even, even just a, um, you know, not a pain in the ass to society. You know, working at a, at a college campus, you see a lot of what's basically going to be coming up for society. I get to see a lot of uh, sort of what I see is going to be some ill-prepared individuals getting ready for the adult world. Because I'll be honest with you, as much as the law says that at a certain age you hit adulthood and things like that, um, the how a lot of people act, I shouldn't say everybody because that's not true, a lot of people are really very responsible even at that age and even before that age. Um, and that's a credit to, you know, the way their parents raised them or maybe even just their circumstance. But what I see a lot of, what I deal with a lot, is just ill-prepared people. And for how much people spend to go to universities and colleges these days, colleges are doing a extreme, extreme disservice to our nation's sort of youth or in-betweens because again not adults <laughs> and not children they're at that very very strange cusp in their lives where they're they are melding they're forging what they're going to be for the rest of their life and unfortunately if I can use a steel analogy They are not being put through a hot enough flame, a hot enough coal bed, if you will, so that when they get dunked into that, for that heat treat, that they, uh, they come out soft. They come out very, very soft. They're not put through the tough choices they're catered to. You know, the heat, the heat treat that they're getting is, is very, very weak. And, uh, again, it's a big time disservice to them as, uh, you know, as, as a college campus, you know, they have a responsibility and a, and a job to prepare people for life, to prepare them for what the real world is like. And it's just not working out. The things that I get to see from day to day, just people freaking out over the, the dumbest things. And I know adults do it too. I know that people who are, you know, successful have breakdowns and, and things like that. I get it. I understand that. But it's like the college setting is just the cusp of it. Or not even the cusp, it's just the, the, uh, just the, the center of it, rather. And that... I mean, you see it in high school, and you see it in schools and things like that, too, but you see it in college, and that's just disheartening because, again, what's the next step in life after college? Life, real life, going out, getting a real job, you know, using that degree. Um, and that's the other thing is that we're offering degrees that there are no jobs in. And has it's not even like it's a, it's a degree that you would go, oh, there should be jobs in that, you know, or anything like that it's not like that it's like why you get I mean you're getting a job in human studies or in in um, gender studies and things like that it's like where is there a job in that unless you plan on being a professor at a college um, or unless you plan on being some sort of like I don't I don't even know what the jobs would be for something like that
But again, there is no, there's no responsibility being taken on anyone's part at this point. You have the college who says, we want your money. And if you need a social science degree, if you can call it that, for us to get that money, we'll do that. I mean, to some degree, they want them to do well, right? Because then they have trustees and they have alumni that give money back to the college and things like that. But for the most part, it's like they just want that initial that initial uh, bang for their buck in tuition dollars and books and things like that. It just, it's just, it's crazy to me. It's absolutely nuts. And again, they're not preparing them very well for this, for this world at all, but... I just wanted to mention that. If you guys have any feelings on it, please leave a video, leave a message or a comment. I love hearing them. I love seeing them. Um, so that's all I've got for you guys today. I'll talk to you later. Thanks again.